if you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today, I just wanna give you two quick tips about how to take control of your day, how to take control of your time, how to take control of your business, and how to take control of your life. Because one of the greatest things that I hear from real estate agents, one of the greatest struggles is, they say, how do I stay focused, stay on track, stay on my schedule? How do I you know, get stuff done every day? And I find myself having a hard time making managing my time. Well, you cannot manage your time. Time is a set resource that does, it moves at 60 seconds per minute or 60 seconds. Yeah. 60 seconds per minute, 60 minutes per hour forever. You can't manage that. It's not manageable. You can manage an employee. You can help them change their behavior, but you cannot change the behavior of time. It is not manageable. What is manageable are your choices. What is manageable are your priorities. It's how you use the time that you have. It's the things that you choose to do during the time. So in 1980, there was a gentleman, young guy, who was homeless, but he had a dream of a business with hair care products. His name was Paul DeJoria. And Paul DeJoria had a friend named Paul Mitchell. And Paul DeJoria and his friend, Paul had was homeless, living in the back of his car, and he had 350 bucks, his life savings. So he took his 350 bucks, and with Paul Mitchell, who put in his another 350 bucks, they took $700, and they ordered and produced their first batch of hair care products, which Paul DeJoria then went out and sold door to door. And that, got them going. They started getting to where they could pay their bills. They just kept growing and expanding. And today, fast forward 38 years later, and Paul Mitchell Hair Care Products is the largest hair care product company in the world, doing over a billion dollars annually in revenue. And Paul DeJoria, the co-founder of Paul Mitchell Products, is worth over $3 billion. He is today a multi-billionaire. And someone asked him, they said, if you could identify one key that is you think is most responsible for your astonishing success, what would be the one key? And here's what he said. The one key is this. If you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. If you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. And what that comes down to is it comes down to prioritizing your time. It comes down to prioritizing how you use your day. And if you want to take control of your life, you want to take control of your business, you want to achieve your goals, it comes down to you taking control of the priorities in your life, the priorities in your day. Do it with two things. I'm going to give you two tactics today to help you take control of your time and of your life. Number one, have a daily schedule and follow it. That's the first step. Because in your daily schedule, you can set the priorities of what do I need to accomplish this morning? What do I need to accomplish today that will put the school points on the scoreboard of my business? Which putting points on the scoreboard is putting deals in the pipeline, listings, sales, and money in the bank. That's points on the school board. And what are the keys to doing that? Lead generation, lead follow-up every single day. It's got to be in your schedule, set, and you follow it, and you don't let anybody else's agenda take you off of that. Now, what I coach my real estate agents to do is that in the, every morning from 8 a.m. till noon is what I call your focus zone. And your focus zone is the time that you put points on the school board. It is the time you do your lead generation, your lead follow-up, and everything associated with that. Okay, from 8 a.m. to noon every day. You don't do anything else. The second thing that Paul Mitchell, uh, Paul DeJoria said was responsible for his success in prioritizing his life was he said, I don't do email. I don't do email. Now, listen to this. He said, I have not sent or received an email in 24 years. Now, guy, before you freak out, I'm not advocating that you do not use email as a real estate agent. I totally get that. And, and that, te- that email is actually a tool that is massively helpful. But what I will tell you is, you got to control your email. And so here's tactic number two. If you want to pr- take control of your time, take control of your day, no email before noon. I know, I know it's right now, some of you, you may be freaking out and going like, what? You gotta be kidding me, but what if? No what ifs about it. 
If you don't prioritize your life, somebody else is, and here's what e your email inbox is. In your email inbox right now, at this moment, is everybody else's priorities for your life. Everybody else's agenda for your day, everybody else's agenda for your life, everybody else's agenda for what they want you to do right now is in your email inbox. Your priorities don't exist there. Their priorities exist there. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't serve your clients and take care of them, but you have to set the agenda of when that is gonna happen. You wanna achieve your goals in the morning is reserved for lead follow-up, lead generation, that's it. At noon, from then on out, now I take care of everybody else's agenda for my day. Everybody else, whatever they want, I can handle that. I go on the listing appointments, I negotiate, I'll answer phone calls, I'll answer emails, I'll answer text messages. You set the priority for your day, you set the agenda for your day, and you control the morning focus zone to put points on the scoreboard because lead generation and lead follow-up is where you put where you where you start with putting money into the pipeline, into the funnel that will that will put points on the scoreboard that put dollars in your bank account. Okay, does that make sense? This is so important that you got it. So number one, have a daily schedule and follow it. And number two, no emails before noon. In other words, the first half of your day should be your agenda, your priorities, and your ability to serve others and to serve more people and help more people will actually be increased by, by your discipline at setting your own agenda and your own priorities for the day because you're gonna make more money, you're gonna have more success, you can hire other people to take care of checking your email and checking your text messages and checking all the urgent stuff in the mornings while you're doing your priorities for your day that will help you make more money, serve more people, add more value, and have a better life. You may need to listen to this video or watch this video two or three times to get it, but I promise you, if you'll take this, it will change your business and it will change your life. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, comment, questions. Make sure if you have not subscribed to my channel yet that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, share this with other agents that you know are wasting their time serving other people's agenda and not staying focused on their priorities. It will make a difference for them as well.